Maurice Stokes is really a very special person. Um, he's an alumnus of ours from uh, several generations ago, back in the 1950s, but his memory, his legacy, his story have transcended many, many decades. And so the story on the one hand is a very sad one. And here's a successful alumnus who went on to play professional basketball after a stellar career here, has a major injury, it's life-threatening, he's never the same after that, and he, and he dies far too young. So it's a very sad story, but at the same time, it's very inspirational because when we see how his friend Jack Twyman really went above and beyond to care for Maurice, it becomes a very special story, a very inspirational story of care, of concern, of compassion, and it's a story, I think, that really amplifies our Franciscan values. And so when we talk about our St. Francis University students becoming that someone, they're becoming someone who cares, who is compassionate, who brings love into the world, and who really is Christ-like. So I believe that the Become That Someone story takes what Jack Twyman did, brings it to another level, and brings it, brings it an even deeper spiritual meaning than it had at the time. It's very powerful. Maurice had the, the, the honor, the privilege of being buried in the Franciscan Cemetery. That's something that's reserved exclusively for Franciscans, as, as, you, might, uh, as you might expect. But uh, every once in a while, there's someone worthy of an exception to that. And it, I think it was very fitting that Maurice was laid to rest on a campus that he loved and a campus that loved him. And, and I think there's just, to this day, a very beautiful symbolism to that. He's, he's one, of, one of very few non-Franciscans buried in the cemetery, but he's there because he had such a Franciscan heart, had such a Franciscan spirit, and really was a part of our Franciscan campus here.